Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the wasteland um, today I'm going to talk about structures moving on with my mods for beginners and the settlement building this first one is easy home builder and working double beds rebuild your sanctuary by hoser 77 and it's available on Bethesda and it's an amazing mod so many of you asked about my sanctuary and so this is where it's come from nearly all of it so these gorgeous homes um, they come as prefabs and you can get them in many types, many different colours, with or without carports and they are stunning. I absolutely love them. What I love even more about them is that they are powered by, um, what do you call those things, fusion cores, which you just pop in, literally you pop in here. So it's all part of this mod and so if I go to power and a power produce it's right there and as you make it it just literally snaps into the panel you also get these handy little I don't know why I'm using my finger to point you can't see me but you get these handy little notes on your screen as well that tell you basically what to do which you know thank you that's exactly what I need so you can build these homes from scratch if you prefer if you don't want to have the prefabs like I have um, and you want to build it bit by bit then you can check it out awesome and also yeah, there's a whole bunch of furniture there's beds uh, doors driveways and stairs landscaping and some real pretty landscaping too actually lovely lovely stuff even um, a new sanctuary sign so you don't need a separate mod for that which I hadn't realized and Obviously, I haven't used a quarter of the stuff that's available in this mod, actually. it's uh, There's so much of it. The fences, beautiful pristine picket fences, these lovely metal gates, arches. Honestly, I can't speak highly enough of this mod. It's probably my most used mod right now with the, my rebuilding of Sanctuary underway. I love the colours of the houses. One of them is a two-storey absolutely brilliant aren't they there's my old house <laughs> loving it oh by the way if you're wondering what this thing is here this private area marker that's another mod and um, whilst you're in build mode you can see it right there it keeps the settlers out of your house it actually doesn't when you're in build mode but if you come out of it um, then anybody that's gone into your home will immediately ping back out of it again so that's uh that's quite excellent actually they can get lost it's my house so yeah I can't recommend this mod highly enough if you're interested in these prefab beautiful types of homes I absolutely love them okay so the next one is homemaker and using that mod along with another mod called clean diners you can actually make a really nice modern looking clean diner um, you use the bits from homemaker so you can see they've got a bunch of kits so brick buildings diners institute pier shacks there is actually one uh, large prefab house a sanctuary type of house and there's also cabins they're all a bit naff looking though you know what i mean um not not new and nice but um you you know these are things you might prefer actually to to what i have the lighthouse guys and a great big monument there's the pre-war home uh, and so yeah there is a bunch of stuff in homemaker which is really nice and really you know useful stuff um, and again I found that to be really handy for a few things um, mainly this diner at the moment but um, other little decorative bits and pieces too so this for example um, one of my viewers fat said to me that one of the ways to get my uh, settlers to be happier was to give them some booze give them a bar well I haven't given them a bar I've given them a diner um, there's a cigarette machine here that's a, a mod um, a nuka cola machine and the milk machine they're both mods to make them look new this diner furniture also I'll leave links to all of these things uh, these dishes and counters how nice are they they are lovely aren't they they come in thick or thin depending on you know what you need that's one of Pentha's little more colorful candy jars 
and this is a renovated kitchen cabinet and another one that I just popped in there to cover up some really ugly base work on this thing. By the way, why is the corn blue? What the hell is that about? Anyway, so yeah, Homemaker is another really nice one. We need a change of location now uh, for the next one, so I'll be right back. Alright, this next one is called Clean Shacks, and basically what it does is instead of just in your normal uh, workshop menu under wood, you'll find clean versions of all of the crappy wood that's in there. This is the brand new Oberland station, by the way, that's part of the um, hoser mod, the easy home builder one. Awesome, isn't it? So neat and tidy and clean and lovely looking. And as you can see, I've, I got a bit carried away with the fusion cores in there. Anywho, so this is just build it yourself type of thing and it was a pleasure to make actually just a little place for these people got a sitting room and a very small kitchen um yeah, it's been a while since i've been here i'm assuming i made a bathroom <laughs> yeah good yeah a bathroom look at that sink isn't that cool i love that so many fab and groovy things that you can make and then get back to diamond city upstairs they just got very Biggest basic little rooms um, but yeah, it's okay, isn't it? Clean Shacks is really neat mod. And you can make your own designs. For me, it was a bit cramped because, you know, I haven't got much space here. It's very hilly. I, If I tell you what, if I knew then what I know now, I know we always say that, don't we? But, oh, I would have done things so differently. I just chucked a few beds in here just so that, you know, <laughs> it's a bit squalid, a bit, bit more like a, a military camp. Um, yeah, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done things very differently. I would have uh, got transfer settlement blueprints or whatever they're called to get all of them flattened and walls put in before I even started building. But there we go. So those are my three most used structure mods at the moment. There are many others. I'll show you another one of my favourites in my very slow <laughs> workshop, which is Snap and Build. And this one produced the greenhouse that you saw back in Sanctuary. Very handy. Doorways, roofs, etc. Nice. And it's all named, so you know you can put it together nice and easily. Left hand side, right hand side, middle, side, etc. And it also comes with doors. So yeah, that is brilliant. I've actually built a few of these couple at uh, Grey Garden and one in Sanctuary so yeah I'm I'm in love with that particular mod also good one to snap and build all right so that's it I think for now all of the ones I wanted to mention the, the list in the description box is going to be massive so <laughs> I hope this has been helpful and um, if there's anything that I don't that you've seen you know um, then uh, that I haven't particularly mentioned then let me know another video will come eventually also about all the gardening things that I've used and internal decoration etc so that's it for now take care stay safe everyone I'll see you soon for the next